we just landed in Maui and first things first, we're gonna get some poke. Two weeks before the trip, I told myself that the first meal I was gonna have in Hawaii was gonna be poke. So we went to Island Gourmet Market because it was really close to the airport and had decent reviews. It is a grocery store, but they do serve freshly made food and poke in like the backside slash corner of the market. They only had outdoor seating and there was only like four tables. So we're eating at the car now, but I got the Hawaiian style ahi poke and the limu. It was $17.99 because I added toppings. Mmm, spicy. Oh my god. If I'm being honest guys, the poke here was good and it was fresh, but I do prefer Foodland more, which is another chain grocery store that's really popular. I didn't find the flavors to be as rich as I wanted. A plus for customer service though. It was a blazing 90 degrees on the first day, so naturally I was craving something refreshing. Wow Lemonade has a variety of healthy bowls and smoothies. I got the Blue Hawaii smoothie that has fruits as well as spirulina and uh, dates. It was a perfect smoothie consistency and it actually wasn't too sweet, which I hate when smoothies are. Healthy. We hit up the very popular Lulani's. I can never say it. It's shaved ice. There were so many flavors to choose from, including some sugar free as well, and I believe it's all gluten free. There is options to add toppings such as Lee Hing Mui, which I opted out for, but they do have different flavored mochi toppings. I didn't know that until after, which was a bummer. Adding the ice cream was also a game changer. We're here at the Maui food trucks. I thought this was all there was but there was more down there. I just ordered Thai food because I didn't know what to get. Never go wrong with Thai food. What did you get, Molly? Penang curry. I'm gonna have some, but I got the spiciest level. Good. <laughs> it's like, don't you know I'm Thai? I'm Thai, so I need at least one really spicy meal every two or three days. I got this curry, and it first looked unassuming, but it was actually pretty good. I did order a higher spice level, but it tasted more like mild level to me. This hot dish is just what I needed. They're getting sloshed around in the ocean multiple times. The next morning, I was really craving an acai bowl, and this was the best acai bowl I have had during my whole Hawaii trip because they actually blended the acai by themselves and didn't use a sorbet. That's when you know it's legit. So we're in food land right now. I was fighting for my life at the end of my run because let's just say I had to go use the restroom. My life did flash before my eyes, I'm gonna say that. When in doubt, just go to Foodland for some quality poke. I tried the langoustine for the first time and it was really good. And I also could not go wrong with the chili garlic crunch ahi. Mm -mm -mm. The next day for dinner, we were celebrating some birthdays, so we went to have dinner at Nuka, which is a Japanese restaurant. The calamari actually tasted pretty fresh and it was lightly salted, which was nice. I was craving sushi really bad, and to be honest, the sushi there was pretty mid, so I would get anything but the nigiri. I don't know, I just felt like the fish didn't have much flavor, but the baked rolls were not too bad. <laughs> Rated out of five. Five. Hello, you've seen me from previous videos. Ah. Oh yeah, true. It's like uh, ten the years ago. Ah. I know. Can you rate your pasta it's out like of a five? Out of five. Yeah. I think five. Wow. We are in the town Paia. Don't know how to pronounce it. P A I A. Got my matcha. Oops. I think the honey's all at the bottom. It's some local honey. Well, that's what the barista said. He's very nice. And it was in like a store, so that was kind of cool. I want to mix the honey a little more, but I can't. We did the infamous Rotahana and stopped by Auntie Sandy's. They serve different breakfast items, but are mostly known for their banana bread. I'm lame and I don't have a clip of me eating it, but that was some dang good banana bread. I understand the hype now. There's a couple of food trucks you can check out once you get to Haunted Town. Umbrella Hut's was a little hidden gem in what seemed to be in front of someone's house. Their Huli Huli chicken was so freaking good. And I don't usually like mac salad, but this mac salad converted me to a mac salad lover. Probably the best thing I've had in Maui so far. The quietness and surrounding nature really made me feel like I was eating at a local spot. We still wanted to try other food, so we headed over to another truck Two spot. Two Kalua pork tacos. Oh my gosh. And I got a plate with Kahlua pork and shrimp and rice and beans. I'm hungry. Mm. Put that lime on. Oh my god, these bugs. Do the pork first. Mm. I feel like I need more hot sauce. 
It tastes healthy almost. Try the shrimp. Mmm. The shrimp tastes like the Giovanni's shrimp truck one in Oahu. I feel like the food up here in Hana is better than the food like down. I don't know. I just prefer the food up here better. You always need something sweet after your meal. So I got the mango lily koi smoothie with some greens in it to be a little healthy, you know? And this was in the same food truck area as the taco spot. Safe to say it was a 10 out of 10. On the way back down from Hana Road, we stopped by Coconut Glens, which is a really popular vegan ice cream shop. It started pouring though before I got a clip of my ice cream, but I got your basic, you know, chocolate ice cream. I haven't really had much vegan ice cream before, but this ice cream was creamy, but definitely not as creamy as your traditional ice cream. All right, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. This clip here is from when I went to Oahu next. Oahu, why did I say it like that? After I edited the video, it'll be up in a couple days so if you're interested in seeing what activities i did and what great food i ate then stay tuned all right thanks for watching bye guys